Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back out on the court and I'm going to teach you five easy 1v1 moves that you can use in futsal or small sided football. So when it comes to the game of futsal, the pitch is much smaller than it is in 11 aside, which means we need to be able to control and dribble the ball in very tight spaces. So there's two areas of the foot we want to use to keep maximum control of the ball, and that's the inside of the foot and the sole. These are the widest surface areas of the foot, and you're going to keep the closest control possible. So all of the five moves you'll see in today's video are going to use the inside and sole of the foot. Very common in futsal. So moving into the first move here, the fake shot. And you've probably done a fake shot before in 11 aside football, but typically when you fake shot in 11 aside football, you're cutting the ball with the inside of the foot to get it out of your feet because you want to chop it past that defender so you can either take a shot with your opposite foot or dribble in the opposite direction. In futsal, you want to do the exact same setup so you shift the ball 45 degrees and then you want to sell the shot, make it look like you're going to shoot. So you do that by flexing the leg. But instead of chopping the ball with the inside of the foot, we're actually going to roll our foot over it. So we're going to use the sole, roll it 45 degrees so it stays really tight to our foot. So let's have a look at it here. So we have the ball, the setup, we want to roll it 45 degrees, make it look like we're going to shoot and then we roll our foot over the ball. next move is a variation of the La Croqueta, which is really effective for futsal. So a La Croqueta is when you shift the ball between the insides of both of your feet to get past the defender. But for futsal, we need to be even more deceptive, so we need to give that bait. So what we're doing is that first move, we're tapping the ball, the second touch, we're pushing it. So we want to remain in contact with the ball at all times. So this is the first move, you tap, and then it's a push. And then that final touch is again pushing it back with that opposite foot. So we tap it across, and then we push, and as we're pushing it across, as we get halfway, we hop onto the opposite foot, and then we push it down the line. So let's look at it a little bit quick here. Very slick when you piece it all together. So it's a tap, and it's a push. The next move is another one I like to use on the side of the pitch, essentially the wing of a small sided pitch. So we have the ball on the outside of the pitch here, defenders typically on the inside of us, trying to protect that inside pathway so you can't go in and take a shot. So what we're doing is we have our foot on top of the ball using the sole of the foot, and we're gonna slightly roll the ball in the opposite direction of the defender's goal. So as we roll it this way, the defender will typically stay tight to us and move with the ball. And then what we're gonna do is, as we roll the ball, Halfway through that roll, we then grab the ball again and roll it back in the opposite direction. And then we need to pivot on that standing foot immediately so we can be nice and sharp on the turn and accelerate away. So let's have a look at it here. So we have the ball, the defender comes in, we roll forward and then we hop again and retrieve it and then roll it down the line. So let's look at it a little bit quicker here. So we have the ball, we roll and off we go. The next move I like to call the bait and switch because we really sell the defender into thinking we're going in one direction and then we switch direction of the ball and go completely in the opposite way. So what we're doing with this one, we're using the inside of the foot to push the ball, similar to the La Croqueta movement where we keep in contact with that ball and we're pushing it diagonally 45 degrees. And that's our bait for the defender, we're showing them the ball in this direction. So we push that ball and then we put our foot back on top of it to stop the ball once again. So get used to that movement, pushing the ball, keeping in contact, and then switching it to the sole of the foot. So push, and then switch to the sole. Then the second movement is dragging the ball back diagonally, and then opening out with the inside of the foot in the opposite direction to switch the ball. And the defender's gonna be sold into going to that direction, so you're gonna get on the reverse side of them, so you can go in the opposite direction, get a shot off, get a pass, but you're gonna have a lot of time and space on this side. So let's piece it all together here. So we have the ball, we push it, and then we switch in the opposite direction. So a little bit quicker now, push, off we go. And the 
final move is very similar to the baited switch, but we're using a slightly different movement to bait that defender. So what we're doing is we have the foot on top of the ball on one side of the defender, so whether it's your left or right foot, you're dragging the ball back to perform an L drag. So you drag the ball back with the sole behind the standing leg, and then push the ball with the inside of the same foot, catch the ball with the sole of the opposite foot, and then you're gonna drag the ball back and then use the opposite foot with the inside to push it in the opposite direction. So again, very similar to that bait and switch where we're taking the defender one side, giving them that bait and then switching the ball in the opposite direction. So let's look at here. So we shift the ball out 45 degrees, foot on top of the ball, drag it behind the standing leg, use the inside, catch it with the sole of the opposite foot, roll it back towards us 45 degrees in case the defender sticks out their leg and then we push the ball in the opposite direction. So let's look at it a little bit quicker now. So we shift the ball and then off we go. There we go guys, five very simple but effective moves that you can use in tight space situations in games like futsal, indoor football, and five a side. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.